Hey guys, welcome to the Garden Tracking Studio. If you haven't met me yet, my name is Gustav and I'm the dad. Today we are focusing on answering subscriber questions and the subscriber we picked for today is JC Skitter. Uh, he commented on our video trip to Zalpi and if you're wondering what that was about, have a look at this. Oh, the one. It's a beauty. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well done, the one. Let's go see what, what your personal best is. JC wrote the following Hi, I love your videos Firstly, thank you for the comments We still know we have a lot to learn and I'm busy trying to study how to make the videos more interactive and more fun But we really appreciate every single person who's watching the videos and if you find any value Please remember to hit that like button. It shows us that we're on the right track It also tells YouTube to show you similar content from other creators that you might enjoy I'm going there end of the month, so it's still mid-month, so hopefully we, we've reached you in time. And I'd like, if you can, just make a vid where you show one, <coughs> show more of your bait presentation. So, we're going to do exactly that. Weekend passed, we had boss part of the days. It was a beautiful, beautiful weekend. And I took the opportunity to quickly look at one of the rigs that we used, the main one that caught the most fish. And this is that video. Right, time to answer your questions. One of our subscribers asked us, please focus on the rigging that you used at Zalpi, the going end of the month, and I just want to make sure they've got the same type of setup. And I said, sure, let's, let's try and get that in quickly. So, um, the truth is when you go there, it's all about location. It always is in any venue. We've also tried to move around in this venue, but the setup we used was quite quite basic. The rules for the uh, venue only states that you have to use specimen carp rig. Doesn't specify size, weight, hook, nothing. So in the spirit of that, we used actually two different types of rigs on the day. The first one was this one. So it's pretty basic. So you have uh, the lead core leader line. Then we have the quick release on the weight. And then it followed down by soft braid, uncoated, and a normal hair rig. Really nothing, nothing fancy at all. Um, specifically at that venue, just to show you because different makes have different sizes. Hopefully you can see the hook. There we go. That's the hook size. It's not too big. And we made sure there's a bit of play behind it when we put on our, our, um, when we put on our bait. For that venue, we used wafters, uh, pineapple, I really believe in them. For some reason that's not working here, but most venues that's worked brilliantly. So it's, it's half the size of this. Uh, little wafters, we also put on just pure corn, and that's what did the trick. One thing we do different, and it's a little bit because, um, just because I guess of my background, we also used pack bait. The pack bait that we're using, the Supercast, um, it's the SVD, it's the Skulk van Bredar, that's his, his one. So uh, we didn't have to cast very far that day. Uh, this is quite a big lead because I've got my big carp rod out. This is quite a heavy rod to get distance and I want to get into the trees. But you can use something smaller than this. And I just made a point of putting the bait, pack bait around, which you can see me doing now. Now, just in case somebody takes me out, I know you get method feeders, cannot get them locally, I've been trying. Each time I see one available, it gets sold out. I don't think it's that common. Um, you know, for the, for the common guys here, we just use springs and mushroom weights. Um, but that's, that's not what we went for. So here we go. So again, take this, because it's a soft 
um, soft braid. I'm not looking for it to kick away. I actually want to stay close to the feed. Again, on that day, they were feeding like crazy. So I think you could have cast in a white stone. You probably would have caught something. Um, the weight is heavy underneath. It's going to come down like that, which means that I put the hook on top, but everything else is free. So it'll be easy to suck up. The only other rig that we used is the same type of setup except that with the kids rods we don't want to use the heavy weight we use a very small mushroom sinker that has a little quick release and we just hook it on but it ended up still being the soft line with the hair rig behind and a small hook straightforward i really hope you catch a fish good luck now it's time for me to get this one in the water Thank you for spending the morning with me. I hope that is useful and I hope that you catch a monster. JC, please make sure to let us know in the comments how it went. Tight lines, everybody.